Welcome to Graphic Island Tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how you can do perfect page setup for trifold browser design and how to create a standard and professional trifold browser in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. Go to File, New, and here we'll do the page setup. By default, if your page unit is in pixel, then choose inches instead of pixel and now here give the standard resolution for the trifold browser design for the print there are many different browser sizes are available so first most common is 8.5 into 11 inches secondly 14 into 11 inches and then 11 into 17 inches so here I'll apply 8.5 and 14 inches. So you can use these uh, dimensions for your trifold browser design using inches unit. And now before clicking create here, we need to make three pages because we are going to create trifold browser design. Now click on create and here all the three pages are created at a time. Now we'll do the perfect page setup while creating browser design. So now click on document setup and after that click on edit artboard and select this one. You can zoom in also using Ctrl plus on your keyboard. Take this one here and adjust with the first artboard. Now we'll adjust this third artboard here. So just simply drag it and bring it here. So we did set up for the artboard here. And now we'll start creating our design for trifold browser. From the toolbar, take this pen tool and from here start your design. So I'll start from here. And if your curve is not smooth, then from here take this smooth tool and just move over it the curve will become smoother and now select this one remove this fill color keep outlines only now take this pen tool again and from here draw another curve and take up to here similarly using pen tool from here draw another curve and now take this smooth tool and move over it. I'll take this rectangular tool and here draw a rectangle from here to here. So here you can see this curve is not much smoother so I'll just delete it and I'll make duplicate this one and I'll place it here. Now select them, take this shape builder tool and pick color from here or from the swatches you can pick any color and just create it. You can change the color and create shape here. So here we can't create shape because here we didn't make any rectangle or not given any boundary here. Okay, no problem, we'll uh, do it later. Let's create here one shape by changing color here another shape. So let me draw a rectangle here and now select it, take shape builder tool, pick color and create shape here. After doing that you can just delete those unwanted things and now select them and remove this outline.
now take this rectangular tool and here draw a rectangle now select them take shape builder tool pick different color and make shape here and now let's change the color so select it from here you can pick color so here we'll apply gradient color now select it take this gradient tool and fix the color angle select this one and from here choose color similarly here also select this one take this eyedropper tool and click over this and uh, transfer this gradient color to this shape take this gradient tool and fix the color angle from here now select this one choose this color or this one and now select this one and from here pick color this one more lighter from the toolbar take this ellipse tool using shift alt key drag it and make a circle here take this one little down Control C Control shift P or you can go to edit copy after doing copy again go to edit and you can do paste in place and make duplicate here so after making duplicate here you can select this color white color drag it down using shift alt key now select it copy paste in place and drag it down now select this complete three circles and drag it using alt key and take this one here drag it again and take this one here drag it and place one here let me make it little smaller by dragging it down take this one here make the size little bigger open the images and we'll insert all the necessary images within this shape we created so go to file open and open the images that you want to insert so these are the five images i'll insert select them and open after opening the images in adobe illustrator now select them and just drag it and take your images here so one this one already we dragged let me delete drag this one and place it here delete it drag this one and place it here delete it this one and this one and delete those drag the shape and make the size smaller this one make little bigger make it smaller make bigger make bigger now i'll place this one here and this one i'll place here this one i'll place to this this one I'll place 
let me place this one here okay it's fine let me place this one here and this one I'll place here so make sure your images are covering this image or else you'll not get a nice result now what I'll do I'll select all the images using shift key so using shift key you can do multiple selections of any object or images so after selection of those images now go to object and lock them after locking them select this circle this one this one this one and this one and do right click arrange and take them to front now object and unlock them so here you can see how much this image will be cropped select them and from here give some transparency so that we can see more nicely and accurately and let's zoom one by one so this image I want to take cover up to this much so I'll just drag it little down is fine and here let me take this lady at the center similarly here also so here we need to cover more area so I'll drag it down and make the size smaller and try to place within this circular shape and similarly this one take her face at the center so after setting up your page what you need to do is just select this one this one this one this and this using shift key and give this capacity again if you don't give the capacity back then again you will not get the nicer result now select this circle and the image and click on make mask so you'll find this option on transparency and we cropped it select this one this one and cropped it this one this one From here take this text tool and here write the text so here write the text whatever the necessary details you want to place in your browser so let me write drag this text and write here so I'll take some random text from here I'll just simply copy the random text and I'll place over there control C text tool control B increase the size and change the color to green our trifold browser design is ready now let's save the design in three different images for that select this artboard and go to file export save for web and here give 200 so I'm giving 200 here so that we can save this image in higher resolution and so that we can get better result when we will apply mock-up to this design now save so let's give one and save it so already with this name here is one image is no problem let us replace it 
now select this second artboard once you select this second artboard here you will see this black color outline mark to the second artboard that means this artboard is selected and when we, you will go for the export only this artboard image will be exported so click over this file export and save for web here again give 200 because we need all the three images to be saved in the same format fit on the screen save and let's replace with this image similarly select this third artboard file export save for web again give 200 percentage so here I'm clicking it so that it can show the preview or you can preview it from here and fit on the screen now save it so give three yes so once you saved all the three images now you need to open the Photoshop software without Photoshop software you can't apply mockup because in Adobe Illustrator uh, this mockup does not support so if you have CS6 CC or any versions it doesn't matter all the Photoshop works uh, some uh, somewhat like similar or is same only so uh, here I am uh, using my Adobe Photoshop so once you open your Photoshop software now go to file open and so open your designs that you saved from Illustrator so once you open your design here now open the mockup PSD file so here I'll apply this mockup PSD file you can check out video description and you can download mockup file here you can see design here one so first design uh, will apply to this layer so double click over this and here is our first design just drag it and leave this new tab of the mockup and here fit your image within this mockup page by using shift key and drag it So once you fit your image within the mockup page, now mark it, unmark this original mockup background, close the tab, yes, and wait uh, for the mockup to be applied. Now let's check the result. So here we applied our first design. Similarly, we'll apply the center. So here you can see the option for the center design. So double click here again and drag our center image over this mockup page and fit it again using shift key. And mark it and mark this background close the tab. Yes. And wait for the mockup to be applied. And here you can see we applied this first two design here to this mockup. Similarly, we will apply the third design here so double click again and drag your image and leap to this mockup page drag it using shift key and fit it within this mockup page uh, you can zoom out using control minus in uh, photoshop and drag the image using shift key and fit it within this mockup page and mark it and mark this mockup background close the mockup tab and yes and wait for the mockup to be applied and here we apply all the three designs you can see so this is the final result uh, we designed today so hope you understand all the steps i did in this video uh, if you have any doubts then you can write on comments if possible i'll try to reply your comments and uh, if you want to learn more about graphic design then you can subscribe graphic island and get more updates so see you in next video thank you